everybody, it's Brady Saturn. And I'm Brian Belcher. And welcome to Forest, Forest Life. Life. I was like, why do I have so much mail? But it's because I ordered all my shit. You're getting all the orders. And oh, your mom said my hi. My mom sent me something too. What would mom say? She said, there's something both bitter and sweet about cherry blossoms. Their beauty comes and goes so quickly. Sorry to be a downer, mom. Your mom sounds like me. Your mom said me. Petal paper. Petal paper. Let's see what the petal paper has on it. Oh, petals. Quit. Sure, there's a lot of petals. I'll stop. Uh, what else we got? We got prism and ancient. Uh huh. We got stuff that we bought. Lots of things that we bought. I kind of wish you could delete stuff without opening the letter. Yeah, it's annoying. But you have to open each one in order to toss it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like thanks. Thanks for that letter. Thanks for the extra times I have to click this damn oh, no. thing. Pain in the ass. I mean, I get why they did it. Probably in case you accidentally, like, toss it without reading it, I guess. Uh -huh. But. I don't know. Exciting. You can't select Exciting them all. Exciting <laughs> Animal Crossing <laughs> gameplay. You can't select them all either. You just showed me a really cool um, video of. Animal Crossing, like the commercial for so Br Brittany had never it was seen like the really awesome. It was like the real world or something. So we'll just put it in right here. Here is a true story. Of four friends picked to live in a video game and find out what happens when they stop being themselves and start being someone else. Animal, Animal Crossing, Crossing for Nintendo, Nintendo GameCube. A walrus moved into the village today. Hot. I just been fishing, you know, seeing some pals. All Rob does is fish, fish and see his pals. I'm the one getting the job, attending the. Go Welcome to Animal Crossing, the life game that's happening every minute of every day, whether you're playing or not. Hey, it's called a lawnmower. Other people have to live here too, you know. Ready to eat for everyone. And we're back. <laughs> and uh, it so is yeah, that actually... Was, that was the commercial. I, I thought it was really funny. So this Very 2000, early yes. 2000s. So that was the first commercial for Animal Crossing in America ever. Mm -hmm. uh, it was the very first Animal Crossing in America And uh, so yeah That's the original one for GameCube I actually uh, did see that commercial On TV and I was like That's weird And then I went and rented the game Like 18,000 times <laughs> Well I feel like Animal Crossing Would be a really easy game to sell in Japan mm -hmm, But mm -hmm. for America They had to make it seem like They did a good job selling it though I think yeah. Like um I don't know. That's not really what the game is, though. No. They made it seem like it was multiplayer. I mean, you could play with multiplayer. Kind but of. But it wasn't like you guys were living in the same house. You couldn't talk you to like, each other at the yeah, same time. It, it made it seem different than what the game really is, mm -hmm, I think. Mm -hmm. so. so, my mom and I did actually play the game together, but we couldn't play the game at the same time, which was really weird. Yeah. Um, Do I have one of those? But yeah, it, it, it you know Animal Crossing's a weird game when you really like get down to the nitty gritty of it. Yeah, I'm gonna take that bed to Cyrus. Yeah, you're gonna go ahead and get it. Yeah, all done up and have him. I got a bunch of shit in here. All right, we'll get rid of some shit. You can sell I some might things come back. Don't need. I might come back and do that. Oh, Brittany, we might Every do a two day spring cleaning. Yeah, hey, that's fine. Um, every day is a national something day, and today Ooh. is no exception. No exception, huh? Yep. So, we just got done with tax day, right? Yeah. Well, now today is national bean counter day. <laughs> today is national... Oh, fuck, you didn't do your taxes. Oh, You're going to jail. Going to jail. Go <laughs> hang out with Wesley Snipes. We're going to make this joke two days in a row. I bet they have, like, a late tax thing. Oh, yeah. It's well, like, oh, shit. Brittany, didn't do your you've taxes. been late with your taxes. You know... I've never been late with my taxes. Yeah, you have, because you had to pay for it one time. Well, if your state taxes. Well, no, like... I mean, I had filed my taxes already. Oh, okay. I just didn't pay for it until oh, later in the summer. okay, I see. It was already filed. Summer it was just time. like It was just like, you owe the state money, and I was like, okay, I'll pay it when I can. Oh, okay, and you I did. a late I... fee or something? Because no. I feel like you had like a $10 late fee or something. Oh, yeah, it was like a $10. It was not very much. No. I was like... I was like holding my breath because I was like, oh fuck, like how much am I gonna have to pay? But it was like, oh, $10 for being late. I was like, okay, I can do that. Yeah. 
Well, so. every every account, this is every accountant's a favorite day of the year. Because they're done with work. Yep. After the flutter and flurry of preparing taxes right up until the stroke of midnight, these diligent number crunchers are well past due for a day off. Do you have like the entire day tax day to do it? Like you have until yeah. midnight. Mm-hmm. Well, okay. Well. well, it's also Sunday this year. Yeah, so. it's it's really weird. It was Sunday this past year. Weird. But that's online, I guess. You know. I am one hundred percent sure though that places that are generally open on Sundays opened mm-hmm. on mm-hmm. this day. Oh yeah. Or on or on yesterday. So um that's not it though. We're also Good. going to do the most hipster, the most brunch item of the uh, uh of all time. Today is National Eggs Benedict Day. So Brittany, are you a fan of eggs Benedict? I've never had eggs Benedict, but I so, don't know if I would be because I don't like runny eggs. So I I love hollandaise sauce, so that part I like. If it, um, you can order it with a well cooked egg, mm-hmm. and then have everyone look at you funny, and mm-hmm. it's worth it because it's good. Then, <laughs> but <laughs> I'm not a fan of a runny egg either. And uh, hey, somebody's camping. Hey, look, got some campers. It's but yeah, he's camping. Uh, this is a day to set aside to enjoy poached eggs with hollandaise sauce and Canadian bacon or ham on an English muffin half. <sighs> Oh, snap! Why do you say her name? Anka. Anka? Yeah. Anka! Yeah, yeah. live here permanently. Live here permanently. Talk to her some more. Turn over a new town without any friends. It's kind of like playing life on hard mode. I know that. The Sioux needs more fish sticks there. Now add the peach. Meow, meow. Huh? Was I talking about sleep? <laughs> <laughs> A little risk. Let's play a game for your cocoa bed. No. Uh, no. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe she'll move in when Once. Rocket moves. That'd out. be awesome. There's several animals that could potentially move in. So I, I we'll like see. Anka though. Yeah, That'd be pretty I've never awesome. had Anka in my town before. Um, I see don't... a bunch of like terrible fan art of her online. Oh yeah, and then there's and like that one cosplayer too. That's yeah, like also cosplayer. a She's, like, uh... also an escort. Yep. <laughs> In California. Yeah. She, like, posted these pictures of her cosplaying as her. Obviously, uh-huh. she's not wearing very much. And somebody in the comments was like, she's actually an escort, and, like, posted an actual, like, link uh-huh. to her escort page. Mm-hmm. And I clicked on it, because I was like, huh. Because I, I always click on shit. Mm-hmm. I, like, read a whole thing about it, and I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, you can apparently request that outfit. Really? Yeah. Wow. So, if you're, like, you are uh, kind of a weird person with uh, just a slight bit of a furry them as well. Yeah. So it's there for you. I've always wanted to like get an escort or a prostitute and just play board games with them. Yeah. Just come- <laughs> I like wanted to go to Vegas and be like, yeah, let me get a prostitute or whatever, come into the hotel room. We're playing Clue. It's like not even a sexy <laughs> game, not like Twister or anything like that. It's just like nope. Monopoly. S- Settlers of Catan. <laughs> Settlers of Catan. <laughs> <laughs> No, actually, and I would just tell them like, oh yeah, don't worry about it. We're not doing anything like sexual. We're just gonna play games we're, and we're going to drink some drink and here's some pizza. I don't know. <laughs> actually, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna I don't play, know. What that's like we're gonna weird, play so. Risk twenty two forty nine. I've never even played Risk. Yeah, no, not even regular Risk. Risk twenty two forty nine, where you get you can go to the moon and colonize it too. Right. Get real geeky. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we're going to play 5th edition D- D&D. <laughs> I've always just thought that was a funny idea. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I'm sure somebody's done it before, though. Yeah, I'm sure. But, yeah. I well, don't know. They probably think I was a serial killer and be really scared the whole time. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm sure they've had worse shit happen. I'm sure. Be like, I'm going to pay you just to give you a break, basically. Mm-hmm. Like, we could just hang out. And you don't have to suck anybody's dick. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, this next one is uh, the last national day for today. Uh, I'm doing it right now. You're probably doing this at home right now. Uh, today is National Wear Your Pajamas to Work Day. Wear your pajamas. So, if you're to at work, work and you are wearing pajamas, congratulations, you're celebrating this. I can't do that. They won't let me. No. Nope. <sighs> yeah, even though you sound like you're ready to wear pajamas. Yeah. Put on my pajamas. Man. It's Monday. I am I'm always, always about pajamas. Yeah, I know. Monday's the worst day. So you got to get back into 
No work schedule. Yep, yep. So what some people are calling the best holiday of the year, this day was created as a fun holiday. Ooh, and I'm glad it wasn't a bad holiday. Uh, it is a day to celebrate and unwind from the long hours and hard work of those whose job is to prepare taxes and the anxiety of the last minute tax filers. National Wear Your Pajamas to Work Day allows you to sleep in a little later than you normally would. And once you get up, you don't have to do anything to, to uh, get ready because you're already dressed for today. <laughs> nice. So it's, it's a cute little thing. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to jump right into birthdays because I have a shit ton of birthdays okay, today. Yeah, let's you know on. what, guys? If it's your birthday today. Happy birthday. Happy, happy fucking birthday. Happy you get a fucking. fucking you get birthday. a fucking birthday. That's you also a, get a high pitched brown a high voice. Pitch, a high pitched voice. High pitched brown voice. High pitched voice. <laughs> Anyways, uh. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. So I've only got I've only got one sad birthday. We're gonna go ahead and get it right out of the way. Okay. Today is also Selena Quintanilla's birthday. Uh, born in 1971, the Tejano performing artist who sold over 21 million albums and earned a Grammy Award for Best Mexican American Album for uh, for Live in 1994. But she was unfortunately murdered at age 23 by Yolanda Saldivar, the former president of her fan club, who she had previously fired for embezzling money. Wow. So... Oh, there was a little bit more to that story than I thought. Yeah. Uh, I remember my mom watching the movie. She yeah. was like a young adult. Mm -hmm. She was like in her tw early 20s. That was like the perfect time for your mom. Yeah. And I remember her like watching it and like crying. And I was like not understanding as a kid. I was like, why is my mom crying? Like, I don't I don't get it. And uh, my mom told me like, yeah, she like she was shot by a fan. And mm -hmm. I didn't understand as a kid. I was like, if you're a fan, like I just assumed that like people kill people because they hated each other. Uh -huh, you know, like uh -huh. that's like the only thing I understood. I didn't understand that like people become obsessed with celebrities and mm -hmm. it gets really weird um i didn't get any of that stuff but I, that's because you're normal well <laughs> i mean i, I mean get that's it. not a thing i mean get, i'm not saying that i get it but i just understand that that's a situation that happens yeah 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 um but there's a little bit more to that story than i thought there could be some anger in there if she like fired her after yeah yeah money. there was definitely anger was involved yeah because i thought maybe she was just like a crazed fan who just you know, like kind of like the john lennon situation yeah 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 um, um but no uh, but there's a little bit more to that than i thought uh i remember it happening i lived in florida uh mm -hmm. when it happened and when did where did it happen in texas uh i don't know where it happened um, I, I want to say it happened in Florida. Really? But I'm All right, not... right, Florida, you can't claim everything. I know, <laughs> but I don't remember. Um, okay. But I do remember the, the summer that her, uh, her American album came out, or English-speaking album mm -hmm. came out, and, uh, it went nuts. It was huge. Um, it was a huge hit right off the bat. Yeah. And, uh... I you know, I I love Selena. Um, so I was a big, I was a big fan even then. Mm -hmm. Uh, so yeah, it was sad to hear at the time. Although I didn't have, I didn't have like, I was a kid still. Yeah, so, so you still had like, kind of a disconnect. Yeah, exactly. But um, yeah, so, but our next uh, birthday for today, this person is very much alive. That being said, I hate them. Oh. I don't really hate them. They're really out. They're actually pretty awesome. But uh, okay. it's uh, Chance the Rapper's birthday. Uh, Chance the Rapper turns 25 years old today. Born in 1993, the Chicago rapper who rose to prominence following a series of acclaimed mixtapes, including 2013's Acid Rap, and in, two, in December of 2013, he was featured on the Justin Bieber song Confident, which rose to the number 41 spot in the Billboard charts. He won three Grammy Awards in 2017. Oh, bless you, Frank. <laughs> Uh, he won three Grammy Awards in 2017 following the release of his critically acclaimed album, Coloring Book. Now, Why do you hate Chance the Rapper? I don't I don't hate Chance the Rapper, really, but um, I Chance the Rapper just added Nintendo of America one day and was like, hey, you guys need to put Fortnite on Switch. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, I forgot about this. And I just added him to um, my friend uh, Nick over at Epic Games. I was like, hey, you should check this out. Because this is the, this guy wants Fortnite on Switch. Mm -hmm. I do too, actually. But um, 
ever since I sent that tweet, I get about five notifications a day about really? it. Still, it's been months. That's funny. And I'm just like, ugh. It's an old tweet. Come on, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> just delete it. It's like so old now. Uh, but yeah, so that's the thing. But no, Chance Scrapper's awesome. No, oh, okay. I got you. Uh, You're just being a whiny little bitch. I am being a whiny little butthole. <laughs> uh, that's not the only birthday we got today, though. We got lots of birthdays. This next one is Charlie Chaplin. Charlie Chaplin. He turn. Uh, he turns. Uh, he was born. He turns dead. He's dead. <laughs> uh, no, he turned. Uh, born in 1889, the comedic silent film icon who gained world fame for portraying the character The Tramp, and starred in The Great Dictator and Modern Times. His he had a career that lasted over 75 years and became one of the most important people in film history. He died at age 88 in 1977. I suggest everyone and this is like bad yeah, this news is the bridge. bad yeah for real bad news bridge here <laughs> everyone gets really sad right here <laughs> um i suggest everyone go watch the great dictator if not at least go check out the speech from it um you can easily find it on youtube um it's one of the best speeches in film period really yes hmm. um okay. it's very like it hits on the nose for a lot of things today Hmm, okay. It's talking about Hitler, but it's about dictatorship and hmm. about, like, you know, saying fuck you to them. Interesting. In a nicer way than that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but actually, he, uh, so DJ Cutman actually used that speech in one of my favorite sets of his, but he does it while dressed up as Dr. Wiley, who's trying to be a dictator. Yeah, gotcha. Which is kind of funny. It's a weird correlation that I never really thought about. Yeah. Um, this next birthday we have is another, uh, musician. Uh, it's Akon. Akon turns 45 years old today. Uh, he was born in 1973. The Grammy-nominated R&B and hip-hop artist who gained prominence with the song Locked Up and his debut album Trouble, he has collaborated on numerous number one hits. Unfortunately, one of those hits was not the song that he recorded for Sonic 06. <laughs> wow, you just coming at me with all kinds of information that I just don't even know how to so, deal with. So, one, <laughs> one of my <laughs> one of my favorite songs of all time uh, is on the Sonic soundtrack for Sonic Two. It's uh, um, "Dreams a Dream" is the name of it. It's a, "Dreams yeah. a Dream." Yeah. Well, they he and someone else remade the song for Sonic Six. Yeah, and he's like rapping over it. And there's like a, it's like a shitty beat on top of it, mm -hmm. and it's just not good. It's not good, <laughs> Akon. It's not good. Try again. <laughs> Please try again. You wrote a bad song, Petey. Uh, but that's not it, Brittany. We, oh, damn it! You're fucking weird ass hair. Yeah, it's like bedheaded. So yeah, I'm not playing in so long because I'm playing this game. Yep, we're every playing this day. one every, every day. day. Every day. Yep. Uh, that's not it though. It is also. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's birthday. He turns 71 years old today. Who is that? Born in 1947, he is the center who first perfected his skyhook shot at the UCLA and he became the NBA all-time leading scorer with three, uh, 38,387 career points as a member of the Los Angeles Lakers and the Milwaukee Bucks. He was a six-time NBA champion, six-time NBA MVP, and 19-time All-Star. He also was in the movie Game of Death as the final boss against Bruce Lee. He played a mm -hmm. he played a blind uh, cr uh, karate boss, and uh, but light still affected him somehow. And the way that Bruce Lee uh, uh, defeated him was by punching holes into the wall so that the sun could come in and uh, Kareem wouldn't be able to fight anymore. Man, the Bruce Lee movies are wild. Yeah, they're nuts. <laughs> they have some crazy stuff going on in them. And then finally, our last birthday, our real person birthday today, is Wilbur Wright. Uh, born in 1867, the co-inventor and co-pilot of the first su successful airplane, which he called a flying machine. His, uh, his and his brother Orville's plane were later used in World War I and set the stage for modern aviation. Yeah, North Carolina, raise up! 
Put your shirt <laughs> off. Flip her around like a helicopter. <laughs> Flip her around like a flying machine. There we go. Whoop, 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 whoop. Whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> Uh, I don't know what's he, happening. <laughs> I don't know. Guys, so, like, all North Carolina has is first in flight. <laughs> so. <laughs> Except for now, our license plate says first in freedom. Which doesn't make reason, any sense. Which doesn't make any sense because no. we weren't, like, the first state to no. become a state. No. We weren't the first. We were the last state to join the, uh, to join the, uh. Confederacy. Confederacy. Yeah, were we the first state to come back? I don't know. I don't know either. <laughs> we were the first state to surrender. Um, it's I don't, some bullshit, though. I don't know. I don't know what that what that is, what that even means. But no. they give you the choice. You can pick between first and flight and first. First and, and flight makes the most sense. Yeah, maybe they think flight is like you're free, you can fly anywhere. I don't know. I don't it doesn't know. make any fucking sense. Though. Anyways, he died at age forty five in nineteen twelve. Damn, was it a plane crash? It was not. Well, that's disappointing. Yeah, I mean, that how been dare he to... die any other way? Right? <laughs> how did he die? I uh, don't know. Look it up via Google. <laughs> I can't. Oops. I'm telling the I audience. Sold my shovel again. <laughs> You're gonna sell that fucking shovel. Um. Well, it's a good thing I'm done. Well, and finally, we have two animal birthdays today. Dos. If you have Vesta, the sheep in your town. They like Vesta. historical and orange things. Vesta. Also, if you have Marty the Cub, they like sporty and yellow things. Marty the Cub. So, that's cool. I'm thinking about just putting a clock down here. Put a goddamn clock down I'm there. About putting a clock. Like, Put a right clock here. there. I want it. Like right me, here. Yeah, sure. I don't know. Wipe or the maybe floor of that oh, clock. I could put a bench here. Maybe that'd be really. That's actually better. a better that'd idea. Be better Let's idea. put a bench Let's side there. Put a bench there. Yeah. I'm really, I'm really excited to listen to that part of this episode <laughs> where me and you just go, oh yeah, 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 that's a better idea right there. <laughs> just for like a minute, it felt like it wasn't that long. It felt like it though. It was not probably not even ten seconds. Usually, me and you, we don't, we don't talk over each other for that long. Well, we were just saying the same thing. So. I know it's funny. That though. was the joke. I enjoyed it, but now it's not that funny because you pointed it out for like five minutes. <laughs> I know. Let's so. dissect this joke. Yep. <laughs> so yeah, I just thought I would put a bench down here and then we can call it a day. All right. Yeah. What kind of bench do we want? Oh, we got a yellow one. And that's it. A yellow one it is. Okay. All right. Yellow bench. Here we go. Yeah, it's the only one. This looks like the Cheesecake Factory. That does look like the Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> Which sucks, Not by a the good way. One. Yeah, didn't we talk about that? <laughs> I'm sure we did. Uh, it was pretty fucking bad. I have pretty strong opinions about the Cheesecake Factory. They took all my money and they gave me nothing. They gave me a little bit of food. They gave me like... I was just like, man, this is disappointing. Now I want cheesecake, Brittany, though. Well, we can get cheesecake, yeah, but not get... from the Cheesecake no, Factory. No, it's not good from the Cheesecake I Factory. I think the Cheesecake Factory was that good for cheesecake. It really wasn't. We also, their menu was like a fucking book. I kind of, I thought about like, you know, we can just order cheesecake from Carnegie Deli. Yeah, it's, it's like thirty dollars. Like, well, yeah, but how much is it to ship? I don't know. Well, we should find out. What do you think? This is gonna be perfect. That's so perfect. Yeah, it's perfect actually. Yep. Bump, dump, bump, bump. Love it. So, start. Be thinking about what color combinations or flowers you want to put up around the bamboo. Well, we've got a lot of pink over there. That's kind of a good idea. See that pink and red right there? Well, we have pink, white, and red over here. Yeah, yeah. This is Are we talking about the like bamboo? The bamboo up here. Well, we should do we something do that contrasts like, great with the green. We could do we have some green. Or I could do some paths through here too. I could put some bushes in here as well. So uh, I don't want to do that. I think she puts a bunch of. Um, I think. Well, we'll be thinking about it. I'm thinking uh, purple and pink flowers. What do you think? Purple and pink. Yeah, that's all rare flowers, basically. Yeah, we could do that. <laughs> How about I make this as hard as possible? Sure. All right. Well, guys, thank you so much for tuning in again today. Tomorrow we can sit on our bench. Yep. So that's where tomorrow's episode will end. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys. Bye.
I love sustainable power. Me too. 